WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach with your 11 a.m. update. And currently, we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ are trading down a bit. The uh, S&P is off about uh, four points, and same with the NASDAQ 100. So basically flat. The Dow's off 152 points. It's about a half a percent. The Russell's up 11, six-tenths percent. Semis are up a quarter percent, about seven points. The trainees are up two bucks. Gold is up six bucks. Silver, 12 cents. The upside lights recruit up a buck forty six. Natural gas off eight pennies. Trade out at two sixty four. And the thirty year treasury is down about a half a point. Trade out one twenty three twenty five. Let's try to figure out what all this means out here. What all this means if we take a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. We do have a new profile attempting to form support thirty nine sixty nine resistance forty fifty eight. We will not have confirmation of this profile until this evening. Spot volatility, so we speak right now, is trading just below its fifty day exponential moving average. The fifty day at twenty. 80 price right now at 2068. If price can remain below the 50 day, we should see the ES mini move up towards the 4013 level. The NQ has a, uh, an A to B equals CD to the downside, needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern, but price is also trading with inside a bullish structured profile. And a close above 12084 should signal a further run higher, with 12408 being the price target. US dollar index has a TD9 count top. That formed uh, yesterday or completed yesterday. I'll have to go back and look just to make sure. I know it's a TD9 count top. And there's also a new profile that is attempting to form for it. It is bearish in structure with some resistance up at the 104.82 and support at 103.84. Goldilocks has a TD9 count bottom. And a new profile that is also attempting to form support at 1815, resistance 1856. Silver, which is trading below its swing point from back in November 21st, 2022, trying to regain that level. I would need, I need a close above 2079. New no profiles, no new profiles within silver. So doesn't have any support other than that swing point. If we take a look at lights, we crude, we've just got a nice, good old fashioned consolidation. We've been consolidating, trading sideways for quite some time. Now it's between levels of 75, 7440 and 7924. Natural gas taking a bit of a breather after having uh, four consecutive sessions of higher closes to the upside. And uh, so price should pull back. The first target to the downside would be about the 252 level. That's the center of its bearish structure daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start for Tuesday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to being with you again soon. Take care now.